Hello everyone. It's planting day today for my mini potatoes that I planted in my curry cups. Put them in my incubator. I'll show them to you really quick. They really sprouted up really good. Or at least four of the six did. One of them rotted in its pot in its little curry cup. And the other one's got one little tiny leaf sprouting up. I'll show that to you. But I'm going to transplant them into five gallon buckets. What I done is I drilled holes in the buckets for drainage. Let me see here, find one that has the holes in it. Such as this one right there. As you can see I drilled holes in it. I have five of them here. I'm going to fill them full of compost. And then I'm going to plant these potatoes. And I'm going to water them throughout the summer. And this fall I'm going to see how many potatoes these little tiny plants produced. There was a tiny little potato in this curry cup, about the size of a marble. They were all the size of a marble or smaller. Some of you may have seen my video when I planted them. I compared one, it's about the half or about a third of the size of a dime. Not sure which one it was or if that was the one that rotted. I think it might be that one with that little tiny sprout. I don't know. But uh, anyways, there's one out of the pot. You can see it's, oops. Drop that one. It's got a heck of a root system on it. As you can see, there's the little tiny potato. But I'm going to get these repotted. Get them in these five gallon buckets. I'm going to fill, fill my buckets up with this compost that I, I kind of made with leaf bales, old dry grass bales, uh, cardboard boxes, newspaper and stuff like that that I've been grinding up leaves that come out of the chicken house that I use for bedding on the floor of the chicken house so there's chicken manure in it and stuff but I got it ground up and mixed up really good where it ain't going to be really strong chicken manure it's going to be mainly the leaves and stock bales and stuff like that that the clean leaves that I didn't put in the chicken house but I think I'll make great bedding for these potatoes and hopefully this fall these buckets will be full of potatoes it was just kind of an experiment I wanted to try to see how small of a potato would actually produce food for us. And so this is the start of it. I'm going to transplant these potatoes into these buckets. And come this fall, I'll be dumping them out and checking the production of the potatoes. Well, I'm going to get these buckets filled up with the compost. And I'll get them transplanted and I'll show you what I got. Okay. I got them potted as you can see. This is the biggest one. And down here is the smallest one. I went from big to small or small to big, whichever way you want to look at it. But anyhow, I will tell you this one. Tell you about this one here. Like you said, it's it's got one leaf sticking up there. It's pretty delicate. And it didn't have much of a root base on it. There was a couple fine little roots coming off the potato. And I think it was that little tiny one that's about the third of the size of a dime. It ain't very big. But if you go back and watch my earlier videos when I... It's quite a few videos back when I was potting these, potting these potatoes in those curry cups put in my incubator. I actually had a dime laying there and a nickel, I think, and a penny comparing the sizes of these potatoes. That one was sat on the edge of that dime, just about a third of the size of the dime. And I believe that's it. I had one of them that rotted. It didn't sprout. And it wasn't about the same size as this one. There's two of them that's fairly small. But anyhow, this is the smallest one. And then it got a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, and then there's the biggest one. And as these start sprouting up and get bushed up a little bit, I'll fill, finish filling these buckets in all the way to the top. Put some more compost or soil up around that plant as it gets up above this bucket and I'll fill it in kind of mound it up have it mounded up I may leave them sit right here by my compost pile there's my compost pile what's left of it I got to grind some more stock bales and such that I have and leaf bales but I may leave them just sit, sitting right here in a row just like they are and that way when I'm down here watering my chickens there in that chicken house I can come over here with a bucket of water and water these regularly. 
I don't think they'll hurt anything sitting here. But that's what I done. I got these repotted. I may run get some water and water them now. Make that compost is pretty dry laying here in the sun. A little bit of moisture in it, but I might give them a little water now or this evening, one of the two. But anyhow, well, thanks for joining me on this video. I'll do updates as the summer goes along, show you how big the the tops of the plants are, and then we can all pray that it's actually producing big big potatoes for me. But I guess we'll see. It either will produce potatoes or it won't. But I thought it'd be kind of a good experiment. Well, I'll let you guys go for now. And don't forget I love you. And see you all in the next one. Bye.